I'm Dr. Gaurav Agarwal. I'm an associate professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences uh, and an associate professor of the Department of Medical Education here at Northwestern Medicine. I serve as our director of physician well-being for Northwestern Medicine's medical groups, and I also serve as director of faculty wellness for Northwestern University. I also am an organizational leadership and well-being coach. I think the challenges physicians face right now uh, are, are multiple. I think there is just the sense that uh, no matter how hard you work, there really hasn't been that opportunity to rest and recover. And so that lack of rest and recovery is a major challenge. In all of society, there's this idea of the great resignation. And so that turnover and staffing challenges further exacerbate um, this sense of workload and responsibility that we all have. Plus, if there's people coming in and out of your team, it's hard to kind of develop that continuity and that flow that uh, we all uh, really crave when we're delivering healthcare in a, in a team method. I think it's fairly uh, common for most physicians to experience some sort of distress around the pandemic, uh, whether it's your own safety, bringing the virus home to your family members or your loved ones, uh, just seeing all the death uh, and dying. This level is, is unusual for any of us uh, in our training. And so there are expected distress reactions that are frankly normal as a part of these sorts of disasters, but uh, it doesn't make them any easier to deal with. I think on the other end, there are uh, people that progress from distress to disease. And you are seeing some of that with some physicians developing anxiety disorders, uh, depression, burnout worsening, sleep problems, uh, and even substance abuse. So when we think about physician well-being programs that are designed to help relieve some of the distress uh, and per make sure that people can receive high quality care for the disease, we really think about it in a comprehensive way. We want to make sure that uh, we have programs that uh, provide stress reduction, preventative, education, leadership training, where we can make sure our leaders are providing compassionate, transparent communication to our physicians uh, so that we can minimize any disease, distress, or grief on the front end. We then have programs that really uh, tackle that distress program that we have here at Northwestern is called our P2P network, uh, which is our, our physician to physician peer support network that provides support uh, to physicians from other physicians uh, around various issues like compassion fatigue, uh, COVID distress, adverse events, uh, and even harmful bias and discrimination uh, that physicians may face at the bedside. And then we certainly want to have high quality, accessible care uh, for those that have developed uh, mental illness to make sure that we can relieve their suffering quickly. We also have relationships with programs locally uh, that can provide higher intensity uh, levels of care. I think one of the silver linings of the pandemic is that we're we're much more open about talking about these issues than we historically have been. And so uh, if I'm feeling burnt out, I don't feel strange about it anymore. I, I can tell that a lot of people feel in a similar way. I can see it in other people as well. And so I think that stigma reduction at that physician in that physician world has, has been a really a good thing. There's resources that our organization uh, is providing to help kind of uh, alleviate some of the stressors uh, that have always been true of healthcare, but certainly have been exacerbated from the pandemic. One of the things I would want a psychiatrist especially to be thinking about uh, as they think about burnout is, uh, I practice what's called occupational and organizational psychiatry, which is really the, the study of kind of workplaces and workers and how both can achieve optimal potential. And burnout is a relationship problem between work and you as the worker. We have a lot more knowledge about the causes of burnout. We have a lot more evidence-based treatments for burnout uh, and evidence-based approaches to helping organizations address burnout. So this is not some sort of weakness in you, that this is just a relationship between you and your workplace. And there are ways to improve that relationship in a way that can bring joy back to, you, to work for you uh, and allow you to do what uh, I know every physician wants to do, which is provide great care to their patients.